White Sox fans, stand up. 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 Yo, this is your boy Kofi Ohemi back at it with another video. And this is not me trying to bandwagon. I'm still a Cubs fan. But man, I like to see Chicago teams do well. So, yesterday, when I was watching that putrid, utterly disgusting abomination I watched when Ohio State was getting the, their, their butts beaten down by the Alabama Crimson Tide, I got a notification on my phone on ESPN that said, dun -dun -dun, dun -dun -dun, that the White Sox has signed Liam Hendricks to a three-year, $54 million deal. Woo! And you already know that this White Sox team is already stacked. They got, they already traded for Lance Lynn. And even before they traded for Lance Lynn, they had Lucas Giolito, who was flirting with the perfect game uh, this past season against the Oakland A's. You had Dallas Keiko, who was a sub to ERA, former Cy Young. You had Dylan Cease, an upcoming uh, star for this team. You had Garrett Crochet, another promising uh, White Sox prospect in that pitching, in that uh, whole pitching depth lineup. And now you add. Liam Hendricks to the uh to the fold already in this bullpen. Man, I'm telling you guys. And then you already had that deadly lineup. You have Jose Abreu, the AL MVP. You got Eloy Jimenez, who uh supposedly was taken from my Cubs team. You know, it was sad, but it's good to see him do well. You have Eloy Jimenez, you got Luis Robert, you got freaking Adam Eaton who was very, very consistent last year with the Washington Nationals. And you got, um, who else? Who else? Oh, you got Tim Anderson, who's also a former batting champion. You got this whole lineup. You got that deadly lineup. And then you got three of the top starting rotations. You know, you could flip-flop. You know, uh, if you go into the playoffs, you can either flip-flop on which starter you want to choose. Come playoff time, you can have G oh, Lucas Giolito be the um, game one starter. You can have Dallas Keuchel, who's also another potential game one starter, and even uh, Lance Lynn, who can eat up innings. And not only that, you also add a freaking closer, a lights-out closer in Liam Hendricks. His strikeout-to-hit ratio is just phenomenal. It's lights out. This guy freaking mows down. Batter after batter. Two years ago in the, uh, the All-Star game, he was making freaking Mike Trout, all these All-Stars look like freaking rookies, man. This guy was freaking mowing down these, these top of the line. These are just not regular MLB players. These were All-Stars, man. And this guy was mowing them down like, like they were nothing, like they were little leaguers. And you add that type of caliber to this White Sox team, you already know not only are they going to be division champions, uh, potential division champions, but they're going to be the favorites to win the whole AL. You know the Tampa Bay Rays, they already got worse. The Yankees, they haven't done nothing in free agency. I think the uh, – uh, uh, who else? Um, the uh, No team in the AL hasn't really done anything. You know, I think um, – the only team that might rival them are probably like the Angels or the uh, Houston Astros, but not even the Houston Astros. Even if they bring back Justin Verlander, Justin Verlander probably won't even be the same player that he was because he's coming off a of Tommy John surgery. So that's not a, a guarantee that they might be good. But, um, I mean, if the Angels, if they do get uh, Trevor Bauer, then I can see them uh, kind of being uh, – uh, uh, competition to the White Sox. But as of right now, man, the White Sox are making noise. The Padres are making noise. The Dodgers are making noise. But they're already in the AL. 
But uh, the the AL, the AL, the whole AL uh, conference, man, the White Sox are just looks like they're going to be the favorites uh, to win that one. So, man, um, White Sox fans, y'all hope you guys are happy, man, because the next five to ten years, man, this team is going to be they're going to be contenders, man. They're going to be contenders. And if they don't win this year, they might win in 2022. So, I don't know, man. My, I know my cubs, man. They're probably going to get beaten. They're going to get beaten down by this White Sox team. But it's all good, man. I like to see championships come to Chicago. As long as <laughs> championships come to Chicago after that uh, dreadful beating by the Saints, you know, with the with the Bears, man. Uh I just want to see, you know, uh, more championships come to Chicago. And uh, I like to see this city be a respectable a respectable place for people to come in and see that Chicago is not only known for its food, it's not only known for its tourism, but it's also known for its sports and our blue-collar people. But anyway, guys, I just want to make this quick video. And, um, yeah, man, go White Sox, man. And uh, hopefully they might uh, make some noise uh, this season. So, uh, yeah, peace out, guys.